Hello, hello, good morning and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a bit more plastering with some hemp lime plaster, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different today, something that we've not done before, even though we have done quite a bit of hemp lime plastering already. Today we're going to be plastering a wall made out of wood. So these are the walls that we're going to be working on today, uh, on both sides, but not all the way around. On the far side over here is where we've got our consumer units with all the electrical stuff. Our electrician Mark came back in and finished off all the stuff in the consumer units and so they are good to go. We aren't going to be covering up this wall though just in case we have forgotten anything and we need to put in an extra breaker or two for something that we haven't thought of yet. So we're going to be leaving this one for now but all the other walls inside and out we're going to be putting some hemp line plaster on. One of the things we need to work out first is what kind of mix works the best? Do we want a dry mix? Do we want a wetter mix? And so we're going to start off with a bit of a test. So do you have any thoughts on how this is going to go? What you expect? Are you going to enjoy it? I'm hoping it's going to be super easy. Those are famous last words. My thought is if the, if the mix is wet enough, you can put a blob on, use your palm, it goes in between the laughs, job done. Well, let's see. Yeah. Do you also want to tell the lovely people about the uh, the brand new door we have in the background? Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? I spent ages making this. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a zip door because it has a zip in it and it's a door. Can you do a quick demonstration? Demo. Because it's very black. I don't know if we can actually see. Ta -da, ta -da. Look at that. So it's to keep the dust out, obviously. Um, it is kind of plastic lined on the back. It's a really nice durable fabric. Some ones that I've seen have been really cheap and nasty, but these were really good. So we've got two of these, one for this wall, and we will eventually put one here somehow. Um, and it's just gaffer taped onto the plaster. Yeah. Uh, we were able to put some screws here because there is a timber lintel but this is stone and it was just easier to tape it on and it's fine. Probably wouldn't work, I don't know, if it'll last six months or so, but it's keeping all the dust from the sanding and whatnot out of all the tech gear. Um, I do have to seal up the window in there, but it's working really well and you can kind of see where it's got lots of dust and stuff on it. Yeah, I'm really happy. I think it was 20 euros for two. So I'm very happy with that. Excellent. Should we do some plastering? Let's. Okay. So this is my slightly wetter mix, um, which you might just be able to see. This is my slightly drier mix. So we'll give each one a go and see which is best. Yeah, I think the wetter mix is going to go great on this lath and plaster and the slightly drier mix is really good for on the stone wall where you don't have to get it in any gaps. But let's okay. see. Well, let's see. Oh God, I hate these kind of gaps. So, hand protection. Eye protection, especially with the wetter mix, because it splats a bit. I like doing this with my hands, you could probably do it with a trowel. That is not the right consistency, my love. Yeah, it's too wet. Okay. This is wet still. Definitely not as easy as the stone wall, unfortunately. It's dying, but... So are we saying the dryer mix is actually too wet? Yes. <laughs> I think so. I feel like it just doesn't have enough lime in it. Well, it's the same ratio. I mean, it's staying, but it just, when I'm doing this, it doesn't feel like it used to feel. It's been a while. Oh, it'll work. It's also um, this is going to end up with a flat wall. It's much more important to be getting the thickness the same. Yeah. Makes a nice change from sanding, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit less dusty. This will work. I mean. I would probably have a little bit less 
worked on this. Okay. Well, it sounds like we need to refine the mix a little bit for this slightly different situation. So I'm gonna go and have a play around with that. And then hopefully we can get something that feels a little bit better to work with and we can get these walls covered up. Can you come and test this? Yeah, that's sticking together better. Okay, cool. That looks better. Not even, like a, qu a quarter yeah. of a bucket more. So it was just slightly off or slightly yeah. different absorption rate or something. Yeah. Or maybe just a bit too much water. Yeah. Anyway. But you can really see the difference between even this still and yes. really... You can run, it, run your hand across it like that and get it much more flat. Yeah. Whereas this, when I was doing that before, it's dried up a little bit more now. Um, but lots of it was just like falling off. Yeah. Then do it. Yeah. But I would just mix this back in because it's easier to use. Yeah, definitely. Okay. But yeah, you see? Yeah, it's yeah, it's not, it's not sticking as it's much. Not. So that's why I often think about this kind of stuff, a bit like cooking. You can follow a recipe, but sometimes it doesn't work out, even if you follow it to the letter. And I even looked up my own recipe mm -hmm. inside the Make Do Grow Club, where we did a whole write-up about how to do hemp line plastering. I followed my own instructions and I still got it wrong. But that's why you have to go by feel as well. It feels much better. And now it feels much better. So we can crack on, which is good. Okay, good to go? Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to tuck this uh, light cable up a bit higher. Yes. Do you have any idea of kind of the thickness that we should be doing? I don't think it needs to go on particularly thick. So it was just to cover... Just to cover all the lats. Yeah. The last thing it much more difficult to do. You think? Yeah. You can't just kind of put it in your palm and just slide it across like you can on the wall, which is what I was hoping. I was like, yeah, this could be done in a day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm not so sure. I think you can when you've got some on already, because that's what I'm doing. No, well, maybe it's just the angle that I'm at there. Maybe. If I'm working on this ladder, I really have to stretch and that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I pay a certain amount of attention to balancing yeah. and holding. I need to get some decent glasses that don't fold up. If yeah. anyone has suggestions for excellent glasses that don't fold up and dusk masks that are available in Portugal. Please leave them in the comments. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit too wet, so. It's good, huh? Yeah,
when this is done, we will be one big step forward towards the Flushing infamous toilet. flushing toilet. Mm. To be fair, I don't even care if it's not flushing. <laughs> it's just so I don't have to walk upstairs all the time. Yeah. Shall we take bets on which month of which year <laughs> it is installed? Um, I think it's going to be Q4. Even though of it's this on, year? Yeah, even though it's on the Q4 plane, I think it's going to be Q4. Just because the sanding and the other things that we've said, we might change around. Because at the end of the day, it's not as important as getting all the dirty, dusty stuff done. That is true. But this is a nice break from all that. Yeah, you. exactly. Huh. Right. Actually, do the other the bottom half of that wall yeah, on the well. outside, I think. Well, actually, I think the most likely place that we're going to add another breaker is for something outside. Okay. And that would go down. I think so. I don't know. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not closing it up yet. I think if we started publishing deleted scenes, oh. people would watch them. Maybe, like as a separate video. Yeah, I mean, this is like 20 minutes of us talking well, which I wouldn't be... use all of this in the video. No, but it could be like, you know, unseen footage type stuff. It doesn't have to make any sense at all. Well, that is a good thing. <laughs> You know when they have those movies, right? And they shoot three different endings. Yeah. And then <laughs> later, after the film has debuted and been successful, sometimes you get to see those. Sometimes. Sometimes. If you're in the know. So it's like music artists who go and put together an album out of, you know, songs from a gazillion years ago. That they never. Yeah, they didn't really. Yeah, so the Lincoln Park have done that recently. Uh -huh. Since they lost their lead singer, they've never released all this stuff from years and years ago. Which we died in 2016, 2018. Was it that long ago? Yeah, it's ages yeah. ago. Yeah, kind of like behind the scenes, but not behind the scenes. Behind the work. Behind the work. <laughs> I was going to call it yeah. talking crazy. Talking crazy. For all those people who want to get you know, sent to sleep by us in our boring and then shadow. Oh. I bet people would watch this, you know. 
Maybe not 50,000 people, but some people. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do an experiment like we always do, see if it works. Yeah. I mean, we didn't think people were going to like the ask videos, and what happened? People like them. People like them. And they're easy for us to do. And this could be easy to... I guess you're still going to edit it, right? No, I wouldn't edit it. That's the whole point. Oh, yeah, you just chuck it in. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't it? It's like a live stream. No one wants to see... But if I say something crap. really offensive, I can cut it out. <laughs> what does that ever happen? Anyway, that concludes episode one of Talking Crap, or Talking Crazy. Well, past you. Um, if you liked it, let us know, and uh, maybe we won't ever do it again. <laughs> I can't actually reach the camera to turn it off, so... <laughs> so we've got a few more minutes. Yeah. It's like one of those videos that doesn't really end. It just kind of cuts out halfway through someone talking. So what do you think? I just want to keep plastering. <laughs> I think that's what happened last time. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so good. And what I really like about it, and one of the reasons that we didn't use plasterboard or drywall, is to get these really nice rounded corners which are much more organic and keeping with the building. I really, really like the, the rounded outer corners and then the rounded inner corners. I think it's really nice. It softens the whole place. And it's a good job too, because I don't think my skills are up to sharp, <laughs> neat, flat. It's a small room. Yeah, it is a small room, but what, you know... I'm not much, spending a lot of time here. How no. much space do you need? Exactly. Is the door opening inwards or outwards? I forget. Outwards. Okay, so it won't feel too cramped when no. you walk in there then. This probably should come off. Ruining all of our hard work. So, do you have anything else to say? Did we learn anything interesting today? I wonder, I was thinking as I was doing it, is it easier than doing like drywood or plaster or board? And I think yes. You think it's easier? For, for a DIYer, I think that plastering over hemp and lath and plaster is a bit more forgiving than trying to do a plasterboard finish which has to be 100% um, smooth and you can see all the imperfections whereas yeah this has imperfections but the whole house has imperfections the intentional imperfections. yeah exactly and I think it gives you that confidence to be like well it doesn't really matter if there's a few dips or whatever whereas if you do a plasterboard wall and that comes out what do you mean if you're skimming over it or if you're just taping, yeah, no, if taping you're skimming, in, uh, skimming well. over it which is the traditionally British way of doing it um, yeah, I think it really puts off a lot of DIYs because it's much more difficult to achieve that finish. Whereas this, you can achieve a great finish, but without it being 100% smooth. Especially if you have the house for it. If you're doing a modern build, maybe not, but it's going to look great in our house. So yes, this was quite a satisfying day's work. And I always really like these projects where it's just one day, a little bit of effort, but it makes it feel like we're taking a big step forward. And I think recently we've had some slightly tedious projects that have not felt like we're making loads of progress. And so something like this is a really good way to uh, boost the spirits and give us some momentum to go into whatever the next thing is. And the next thing is probably gonna be more sanding. Um, we're trying to film it, but we're really struggling to make it interesting. So I don't know yet how that's gonna come out, but we will have something else for you next week. So do stick around for that. But that's it for this one. We will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.